Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Michelle and this reading will be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Today I'm going to do all the way from Aries through to Pisces. I'll be time stamping below. And this is secret confessions from a person that's around you, either physically or energetically. Now this could be someone that, uh, that is a lover, a potential lover, secret admirer, a friend or family member as well. So let's take a look. We'll start with Aries here, guys. Let's start right from the top. Aries. Let's take a look at you guys. Secret confession from the person of interest for Aries, please. Secret confession. Let's start with my Aries. Now with the secret confessions oracle cards that I'll be using today, these are quite lengthy messages, so I want you to use your intuition when it comes to which part of the message is for you. For some of you, it will be the entire message will be for you. For others of you, it will be part. So it's a general reading today, so I want you to keep that in mind. And uh, check out all of your uh, placements here for messages that may be resonant with you. So let's take a look here, Aries, for the fire sign of Aries. Let's see, secret confession from Aries, person of interest. Secret confession from Aries. Okay, let's take a look here. I feel like this is too good to be true. I'm doubting that I can trust this love. I'm not used to being loved the right way. And I don't know how not to feel suffocated by it. Remember, take these as it resonates. Some of this will be true. Some of it, throw it out, it won't be for you. It says, you didn't do anything wrong. I need time and space to figure this all out for myself. Okay, Aries, so let's take a quick look. We've got the Hierophant here. So for some of you, you could be dealing with uh, a Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. I'm more picking this up as someone who has a significant role in life. I feel like this person's words have a lot of meaning. Now, for some of you, this person could be a mentor, a teacher, or someone who has, it could even be a boss. There's a, uh, an energy around this person of knowledge. And I get that this person may be a little bit older than you as well, Aries. So let's see. I've got the high priestess here. Yeah, they're very attracted to you. Very, very attracted to you. But the thing that I'm getting around this person, and this is channeled more than anything, is that this person doesn't believe that you would be attracted to them. Now, probably not true since, uh, since they're coming up in your reading here, Aries. But yeah, it seems like this person has a hard time believing that you would be attracted to them. Okay. And they also feel like you have a lot of people around you that are attracted to you as well, whether that's real or something that they just imagine. We've got the Nine of Wands here. Yeah, this person feels um, very cautious around you. Um, they keep you at arm's length. I feel like this person is distant. Maybe not physically, but uh, certainly emotionally. Because they feel like... Um, yeah, again, you wouldn't be interested in them. Three of Wands in reverse. This is somebody here who isn't taking any action towards you, Aries. There's an energy of fear. I feel like this person is fearful of coming towards you. This person is staying, staying put. I get an energy of staying put. Uh, this person probably has a job that they've been in for a number of years. They're very stable when it comes to their, their job and their career uh, and quite stable as well when it comes to the place that they're living. That's why I feel that it's, it's an earth energy that you could be dealing with here, Aries, because it's very fixed energy that I'm picking up around them. They don't want to be uprooted. They're attracted to you, but they don't want to be uprooted from their life. You feel like this person has judged you you feel like this person has judged you as being a little bit wild. <coughs> Whether or not that that's true, again, some of you might be. <laughs> um, but you, you think that this person thinks that you're a bit wild. 
I, I get that this person's very traditional sort, quite staid, uh, very family oriented. And I've got my Aries over here, probably in comparison does seem to be a bit more spontaneous. Um, the wildness, I'm not sure about. You guys will know whether that's you or not. We've got the Three of Swords in the reverse. Mm. Yeah. You know, the energy that I'm picking up around my Aries here, it's, it's really just a question of knowing, knowing the animal that you're dealing with. I think you know this person. I think you know that they secretly admire you, but from a distance. And I think you know that there's something that holds back. This person restricts them. So I don't actually feel like the... Uh, like my Aries here is going to consider this a, um, a huge blow or anything like that. <coughs> We've got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. I think that the, the worst part for Aries is the misjudging. And this person does seem to be someone who may have ghosted. I'm getting that from Spirit. Uh, again, I feel like this person is just someone who is there and watching you, but from a distance, but is ignoring you, not communicating with you. They, they look at you like, oh, that person couldn't possibly be interested in me. There's absolutely no way. And I feel that you, you have been hurt by this in the past, Aries, but I just feel that you've come to realize who this person is. And it's a limitation in them, not, not in you. Your advice here is the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups, both in the reverse. So Aries, yeah, I mean, this is not something that's going to give you what you need. There's an energy around you of... Um... Okay, well... <laughs> this wildness, this, this wild kind of energy that I'm picking up around some of you, it could be, it, it could be something that, that you're going through at this point in time. Your emotions could be fluctuating, going up and down. There's an energy around this of, of being free. I get a, a wild at heart kind of energy. Maybe a little bit indulgent. Yeah, it does, it does feel quite wild compared to this person. But the thing is, this is who you are. I feel like this is part of who you are, Aries. And if this person isn't that type of person, well, I think you have to just kind of move on, really. We've got the four of coins. Yeah, this person is, is restricted. I feel like the inner child here has never really gotten a chance to uh, to go out and play. I feel that they'd like to. They look at you and, and they, they do look upon you with a little bit of regret, some envy as well. And they think, you know, I would really like to do that. I'd like to be able to be like Aries. I'd like to be more spontaneous and go out and have fun with my life and be... And yeah, and let your inner child play. I feel that that's this wildness that they sense around you, Aries. It's your inner child coming out to play and just having fun with, with life. And this person would like to do that, but I feel that they're restricted, guys. <coughs> that's the energy that I'm getting around this, uh, this person. So, Aries, let's, let's move on here. Let's move on to Taurus. Okay, Taurus, a reminder that this will be time-stamped. Secret confessions from someone that's around you, either physically or energetically. Could be a lover, a potential lover, secret admirer, friend or family member. And be sure to check out all your sign placements here for messages that may be resonant with you. So Taurus, let's take a look at your person of interest. Secret confession for my Taurians. Secret confession for my Taurians. For Taurus. Okay. Okay, take what resonates, leave the rest when it comes to these secret confessions. Oracles, they are quite lengthy. Some of it will be for you, some of it may not be. You will know. Use your intuition, guys. So, secret confession for my Taurians out there. 
Secret confession for Earth sign Taurus. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. You're on my mind all of the time. I can't tell you how much I care about you and consider you very special to me. I don't want you to think I'm hovering over you. I just want to be in your presence as much as I can. You light me up when I'm with you. Oh, Taurus, nice energy there. So let's see what we have. I've got the four of coins in reverse. Okay, so this is a nice energy. This is a release. So this person may have been holding back in the past. Not any longer, though. I feel that there's, there's an energy here of giving, uh, generosity, and uh, being open. We've got the five of wands in reverse. Yeah, they're coming out of conflict. I feel that they want to make peace. So if there has been difficulties, uh, fights, if the two of you have separated, this person does want to come back around here. Uh, Taurus. What's hidden is the sun, because you, you light this person up. I mean, really. Taurus, this person finds you to be the person that they have the most fun with. The, uh, it's not just a physical attraction. It's very much an attraction of the soul. Uh, you light up this person's soul. Yeah, Five of Swords in Reverse. I feel like this person has been combative in the past, um, resistant, has, um, but is now kind of, I want to say, giving up whatever, whatever they were fighting. They were fighting the, the attraction to you, they were fighting being with you, uh, they did all kinds of things, uh, fought with you, maybe even brought in third parties. Uh, may have even gone with other people in order to resist this this connection why they did that well I feel it has something to do with um, some karmic some karmic energy that needed to be worked through I feel that they've been working through that I feel like there's an energy around this person of finding the light so if they have been going through a dark night of the soul, possibly with another person, they're coming out of that. But you see them as the devil, <laughs> Taurus. So you feel this connection is toxic. This person wants to come back around. Um, they see you as the sun. You see them as the devil. Oh gosh, guys, whatever this person did, it may have been quite harsh because it, it left you feeling quite, uh, not just disappointed, but um, I get completely worn out. Some of you may have given up um, dating or looking for love because of what you went through with this person. Now this can be reversed energy, of course. We've got the magician, but this person is wants to try hard. I feel that they want to work at this. They'll, they'll be coming back here offering you some kind of support. I feel that this person's love language is doing. So I feel that this person will be wanting to do some tasks. And the challenge here is death. So gosh, yeah, is this, is this done? Because I feel like the feminine walked away from this. In the past. Because it was just too much, too much effort too much work to keep this going it felt like the feminine was working too hard at this and the the masculine was not you know we've got this this energy here of somebody who's just doing whatever the heck they like going out spending money on other women uh, drinking having fun spending money on um, uh, cars and motorbikes and uh, whatever they they want to buy for themselves and um, and I do get this energy of the, the feminine just being sick sick of this um, walking off into the sunset here towards a, uh, a more independent life yeah we've got the three of swords and the seven of coins in reverse I feel that the feminine here this is the advice has um, already decided to that this is just too frustrating with this person 
it's too frustrating this person has an addictive personality they do want to work at this they're trying hard and with the eight of cups in reverse they're, they're on their way back here to try again guys this is an ex coming back so Taurus whew, do with that what you will just quickies here today now let's move on here to Gemini hi Gemini let's get started on your secret confessions reading reminder that this is someone that's around you physically or energetically could be a lover potential lover a secret admirer friend or family member and a reminder to check out all of your sign placements here with this reading for messages that may be resonant with you so gem gemini let's see secret confession for my gemini's out there what does gemini need to hear secret confession for gemini this is for the time period of now when you're called to view this video everything will be time stamped below so let's see keep in mind that these are lengthy these oracle cards take what resonates and leave the rest use your intuition to guide you and let's see gemini what is the secret confession for the air sign of gemini secret confession for gemini Ooh, you know i'm going to take both of those you get a bonus one okay i know i'm confusing you i don't mean to i need more time to figure out what i want out of life what i want out of this connection i'm not trying to make you wait for me but i don't want to be pushed to do something i'm not ready to do yet and then we have i don't want to be involved with you romantically uh, they just want to be friends they know they played around and led you on they didn't know how to make up their mind and they should have been honest with you i've done this before to others i need to stop lying oh gosh guys oh so this person's all kinds of confused let's see if we can work out some more about this individual they're coming up here as the emperor so they may be a, a little bit older than you gemini this person could be a boss or an authority figure they could be a father uh, they may have uh, children they may even be married to somebody else and with the ten of coins in reverse yeah i feel this person may be married guys or they're newly divorced so they're uncertain about what they want they may already be going through this divorce or they're planning on divorce guys yeah we've got the eight of coins in the reverse not only that i, I feel that like this may be in the workplace guys this this attraction it may be a workplace thing this person's going through a divorce they're very confused they don't know what they want um, be careful guys getting involved with someone like this um, when someone's this messed up with with their life i feel like they're um, they're self-sabotaging at work they're not putting the effort in at work and, uh, and going through this divorce most likely losing a lot of um, security and stability and retirement funds and all of that kind of thing when they're going through all of that gemini they 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 don't they don't have the energy to give to you so this person could be someone who comes in rather quickly uh, uses you for solace uh, as a sounding board as a compassionate soul and then uh, leave so be careful yeah the empress in reverse mm. for some of you yeah they, they i feel that we're talking about a third party here for some of you uh you you could be married to this person and, and going through a divorce uh, and there is a third party involved although it may not have been the cause of the divorce i feel like there there is now a third party involved which is making this even more contemptuous i want to say and we've got the magician here <coughs> yeah gemini i feel that you 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 did want you did want it to work with this person 
you you really wanted this person uh, you've been manifesting them for a while uh, you may have been enamored with them uh, that you may have had a crush on this person Gemini we've got the eight of cups in the reverse they're still around they keep coming back to you so they don't uh, they, they haven't left uh, they're still around. They're still they're still dealing with uh, with you, but they're also still dealing with this with this soon to be ex as well. Temperance in reverse is the challenge. Yeah, this person's just all over the place. I feel like um, for you, Gemini, you're getting impatient with this person because they're they're not performing like you'd like them to be but it's because they've got so much going on here guys uh, be careful if this is a workplace thing because this may lead to potential job loss I'm getting that for some of you so just just be mindful um, of getting involved with someone especially if it's a boss or authority figure in the workplace and with the your advice here is the eight of swords and the five of coins yeah um don't think of this as a a way out of a situation you, you may see this person as as like a rescuer someone who's going to help you uh, but spirit is asking you to be mindful that this is somebody who's very focused on their own stuff right now and they're not in a position to help uh, you may want this person to help you but i don't feel that they're in a position to help and they're certainly not in a position to give you give you money um, security anything like that because I feel I feel that there is a a wife or a soon-to-be ex-wife here who is going to, to there's going to be a lot of money lost there so ju just be mindful of getting involved with someone who is going through this because it could lead to job loss um, bankruptcy I'm even getting that for for this person so just be mindful and we've got the high priestess in reverse yeah um, there's a strong attraction here but I, I, I feel like it's on and off uh, this person's giving you mixed signals here Gemini yeah be cautious guys be cautious with this one um yeah they they don't know what they want they are just so confused right now and they're saying they don't want to be rom involved with you romantically uh, but they're also giving you mixed signals which is confusing you um they don't want you to wait for them but yet they kind of do and it's it look this place is this person's all over the place guys all over the place uh, all right, Gemini, we'll take that as it will. Uh, just uh, quick messages here today. I'm going to move on to Cancer. Cancer, let's take a look at uh, your secret confession. Reminder that this is someone around you physically or energetically. Could be a, a lover, potential lover, secret admirer, friend or family member. So Cancer... Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Be sure to check out all your placements here for messages that will be resonant for you. Okay, so let's take a look at your secret confession for the water sign of Cancer, please. Secret confession for Cancer. Secret confession for Cancer. Okay, let's take a look. Take what resonates, leave the rest, use your intuition to guide you. And Cancer, let's take a look. Secret confession for Cancer. Secret confession for the water sign of Cancer. Secret confession, Cancer. Water sign of Cancer. Secret confession. Friendship is the biggest building block of love. I'm your friend, but I want to be your lover too. I want to have more than just friendship with you. I want you to see me the way I see you. I don't know how to tell you this because I don't want to lose our friendship. Okay. All right, we've got a friend wanting to come out uh, from the friend zone here, guys. 
Remember this can be reversed energy, so feel free to flip this out. Five of coins, yeah, this person is feeling like um, you are the one for them. Oh, okay, but uh, it's someone that's a, that's around you. They, they see you as someone who is um, a very lucky person, that they feel that they would be lucky to have you. Uh, they feel quite insecure when they're around you because you're, you're someone who who they're very enamored by and I feel that they think that you're too good for them okay that's why they keep you in the friend zone we've got the page of swords in the reverse hmm. they're holding back this information uh, they're, they're very um, hesitant a little bit um, it's, it's not exactly shyness, I don't feel like this person is shy, but they are fearful of rejection because it would be a huge ego blow if you rejected this person because they're that um, enamoured with you. We've got the two of swords in the reverse here. This has been on hold for a long time. This person hasn't been, uh, hasn't been coming forward because they've been in denial of their own feelings. They've been really trying hard to deny their feelings here. They've been working hard with their career, um, going out, doing everything they possibly can to take their mind away from thinking about you. Mm. Cancer. But with the Three of Wands here, this person sees a future with you. They do. And they see you as part of their future. I feel that they want to uh, to plan things with you around the future. They they you may they may be thinking of um, taking a trip with you. They may be thinking of moving somewhere with you. I get movement. Maybe on a global scale for some of you, they could be planning to move to another country or planning to move to your country if you're uh, separated by um, by a border. But with the Ten of Swords in reverse here, Cancer, I feel that you're thinking that this is this is not going to happen. Why? Because this person put you in the friend zone. You probably thought this person wasn't interested in you, but it's because they they feel insecure around you that they put you in the friend zone here. It felt safer for them. I've got the Nine of Cups in reverse, but you are this person's wish fulfillment. Yeah, you are. You are. They seem to hide it very well. Or they, uh, maybe they can't in their eyes. I think it, it's their eyes that give them away. But with their words, they're, they're certainly not coming out and expressing how they feel. The three of coins. Yeah. With this three energy, I feel that this is about the, the future with you guys. They feel like it's, it's, it's going to be challenging. There's some kind of challenge and they're not sure that they can meet the challenge. Okay, take that how it resonates. We've got the Queen of Wands here and the Ace of Swords. I feel that this, this is you, Cancer male or female not gender specific but there's an energy around this of living your best life living authentically being true to you and if this person wants to, to come out and let you know how they feel well and good but I, I don't see you waiting around for this person I don't see you sitting there waiting on this person to call or text I just see you living your life and this person is around you, but they're in denial of how they feel. Okay. But the outcome here is the Six of Wands. Now, I feel that that's, uh, that's you. That's you, Cancer, uh, achieving success in your life. And this person looking on at you, achieving that success. They want to be part of that success. And I feel that this person is 
looking at that but in the future guys I get that like not right now but later and in the meantime I even feel like this person's dating other people or going out but they see you as the prize they see you as the top of the mountain but again I get in the future but right now I feel like they're dealing with people who are um, I don't want to say less than but uh, it feels like people who they're more comfortable around people that don't challenge them people that are uh, yeah safer and easier for them to be around they don't feel like it's going to be an ego blow but with you if, if something was to happen with you negatively and they were to lose you then that would be the loss of their future okay cancer so I'm gonna move on here to a Leo so Leo let's take a look at your secret confession reminder that I'm time stamping these just short messages here today these are for the time period of now when you're called to view this video Leo a reminder that this is someone around you either physically or energetically could be a lover potential lover secret admirer friend or family member it can be reversed energy so keep that in mind and Leo let's take a look there's a general message so take what resonates leave the rest and be sure to check out all of your sign placements here for messages that will be resonant with you so Leo let's take a look secret confession Leo Leo the lion take what resonates from these cards and leave the rest use your intuition to guide you Leo secret confession for Leo please secret confession for Leo secret confession for Leo okay I can tell you anything I feel so at home in your heart and I know this is special people wait their whole lives to feel the way you make me feel I feel safe with you and I know you won't judge me for anything I tell you I trust you Ooh, lovely energy there <coughs> The Ace of Coins, well this is them being truthful, being able to speak to you about anything. Uh, they don't have to lie, they don't have to pretend to be anyone else, they, uh, they can just be themselves. The world, there's an energy around the two of you, you, you do share a lot of um, common interests even though you may be from different parts of the world or different parts of the country uh, you may have both traveled far and wide I, I get that the two of you can have great conversations because you're you have a lot of knowledge about world events things that are going on uh, things that happened in the past historical events as well We've got the Hierophant in the reverse okay and the main thing that I'm picking up there is some bad advice hmm somebody giving bad advice okay all right nine of coins in the reverse hmm there's a bit of jealousy and envy like I feel the two of you have great conversations but I'm also getting this energy of a lack of growth in this relationship due to this person's this person feeling again I get this energy of feeling like you, you there's something that you're out of their league like someone's told them oh don't don't be with that person yeah it, it's a, it's I feel that this Hierophant in reverse is, is a friend or a family member could even be a group of people um, from this part of the world okay yeah I feel that people are saying oh are you sure are you sure that person's that person's from a different part of the world that person's uh, um, are they going to go back to their home country are they going to stick around what do you have in common but they don't know the connection 
We've got the Two of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so the two of you aren't in a connection at the moment. I get um, that there are problems in, the, in this relationship. I even get a, an energy around the two of you of, of just being friends or keeping it in the friend zone. Maybe even friends with benefits. Okay. We've got the High Priestess in the reverse and the Hermit. Yeah. I feel that this person we're talking about here is, is somewhat of a loner. Uh, they, they may have a dog. I've got a dog here. A dog or a, or a cat or be very focused on their animals. They like to live alone. There is an attraction here, but it's it's mostly secret. Oh, okay. Interesting, guys. I'm, what I'm getting around this is that this is like a secret. Uh, a secret relationship, a secret desire. Uh, that that aren't that isn't shared around with others because people would not approve uh, these people who are yeah I, I get people who are like this person people from the same neighborhood the same country the same the same traditions the same values they I feel that they've said that Leo shouldn't be with this person okay or that you shouldn't be with this person something like that and now this person is alone okay but they secretly have this desire we've got the three of swords and the ten of wands yeah this this is quite a uh, a challenging a challenging situation it, it the thing is it didn't have to be i feel that people around the connection have made this very challenging third parties but not not other lovers i feel it's just friends family that kind of thing and the ace of wands in the reverse so yeah it's like the road not taken it's like the road not taken here they feel so at home they know that it's a special connection and that people wait their whole lives to make to to feel the way that they feel around you they feel safe with you they know that you won't judge them they trust you and yet they don't do anything with the connection and they, they keep themselves in this hermit energy. Why? Uh, because they, they fear a response from people around them, guys. I mean, that's, that's very, very sad. And so, gosh, guys, uh, what's it going to take to get this person to, to see the light here? Yeah, again, they, they feel that they can tell you anything, but they, I feel that they've been told for a long time that this that this isn't that yeah I get them being very contrary very challenging and I feel that Leo you've tried so hard to 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 make it work with this person but they they keep they keep retreating into their shell like they'll come out they they, they feel good around you they they like it and then they retreat back into their shell here and that's it it's, it's just rinse and repeat leo i don't know what you do with this it just just feels like it's just kind of there um it may take uh, the energy being taken away from this before this person does anything about it but uh, yeah we'll have to see how that goes so let, let's move on to virgo Okay, secret confession for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Virgo, a reminder that this is a person that's around you energetically or physically. Could be a lover, a potential lover, secret admirer, friend or family member. General reading today, so feel free to check out all your sign placements. The messages that may be there for you. And Virgo, let's take a look. Secret, a secret confession for Virgo, please. This can be reversed, so keep that in mind. You can flip out the energy. Virgo, secret confession for Earth sign Virgo. Secret confession for Virgo, please. Secret confession for Virgo. All right. A 
reminder that these oracle cards are quite lengthy so take what resonates and leave the rest use your intuition let's see Virgo earth sign Virgo secret confession Virgo oh, that one came out quite quickly your emotional sensitivity is beautiful but I just don't know how to comfort you when you need my support and caring words I want you to be happy and healthy I want you to know you can rely on me but I don't always have the words hmm. so this person is challenged by emotions <clears throat> five of coins gosh what's up with all these insecure people but I feel that this person again is insecure uh, there's something that uh, that triggers this insecurity within them uh, they feel like uh, you are too good for them uh, they feel like um, you're the total package here and that they are unworthy I get that Wayne's World thing <laughs> this person may be like an old rocker or they may wear a lot of um, like 80s denim <laughs> I'm getting that <laughs> 80s denim and, and uh, you know that uh, Wayne's World thing I'm not worthy I'm not worthy I'm getting that scene in my mind here Virgo Page of Swords in Reverse yeah this person is not uh, communicative I feel that they may have even ghosted What's hidden here is the Nine of Cups in Reverse. I feel that this person is a bit of a, I want to say, let's just say they go out a lot and I feel like this person does tend to be quite extreme. Uh, they, uh, they do go out to a lot of um, social events. Again, I get that 80s rock and roll kind of thing. We've got the magician. Interestingly enough, though, they manifested you. They did. Now, this person actually manifested you into their life. But then when you arrived, I don't feel like they knew what to do with you. <laughs> um, okay. King of Coins. So, uh, yeah, I feel that this is the, the Virgo that we're talking about. Some of you are cross watching for a Virgo. There's a, there's a strong attraction here between the both of you, but I feel like this, this King of Coins is someone who doesn't see themselves how you see them. Now this could be a Taurus as well, or a Capricorn, or just someone who you see as a as life partner, or potential life partner, or someone that, um, that works really hard, that is, uh, works in business, or has a, a business degree. So yes, you see this person a certain way and uh, they don't see themselves that way. They see themselves as um, not good enough, but yet they've manifested you. That's the weird thing. They've manifested you, you arrive and then it's like, oh, well, yeah, I got what I wanted, but I'm just going to ignore it now. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> The Nine of Swords, oh gosh, this person has to go through some demons first before they can come out the other side. I feel like you, you, you've triggered some insecurities in this person. I feel that, uh, that they have to get real about their life. Something that, uh, that they're being forced to confront about themselves here. But this is a good thing, it, it's good that that's happening. And with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, it seems like this, this has come in. It's like they get the perfect person, the person that they've manifested at the wrong time. Sometimes that happens, guys. Sometimes we meet that uh, person when we're not ready, uh, when we don't feel ready. And I get that. I get that with the, this person. They feel like it's not fair. Uh, they've manifested you into their life, but it's, they're not ready got temperance in reverse and the empress in reverse mm. so Virgo the energy that I'm picking up here is is one of uh, don't take this personally I uh, try not to be uh, impatient with this person I feel like they're going through something um, it's it's they they may be ignoring you or ghosting you at the moment, but it's not out of something that you've done. It's um, how they feel about themselves and something that they have to to. I get them walking through 
that dark night of the soul here. Uh, this person ha has got some anxiety about uh, about being good enough for you. Yeah. Okay. And we've got the Six of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I feel that this person has to uh, to let go of some demons around uh, their past before they're ready to let this, this new thing come in here. That's what they're going through. I feel that they're looking at their past, they're looking at uh, their history, they're looking, they're taking accountability for what's happened in their life. There's a lot of backward thinking here, they're looking back at their lives. And soon I feel that they'll be ready to, to face forward and start thinking about the future, but not quite yet. And there's something about this person not being emotionally available at the present time because they're still dealing with after effects associated with um, something from the past, which could have been uh, family, uh, childhood, could it be divorce, uh, whatever that is. There's a feeling here of them not being ready to, um, to be emotionally open and vulnerable. Uh, they fear, they fear that. Uh, this person thought uh, that thought that they were going well, but it, it seems like something here has triggered this emotional vulnerability in them, and it's made them think back to the past. And they they're kind of stuck there at the moment. But I don't feel like it's going to be too much longer before this person frees themselves from that. But uh, let's move on here, guys. Let's look at Libra. Hi, Libra. Let's check in your secret confessions reading. Reminder that this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and to check out all of your placements for messages that may be there for you. Libra, I'm checking in with a person that's around you physically or energetically. Secret confession from this person. To be a lover, potential lover, secret admirer, friend or family member. And the energy can be reversed, flipped out, so feel free to do that. Libra, let's take a look. Secret confession for Libra, please. Secret confession for Libra. Secret confession for Libra. All right. Let's see. Use your intuition, guys. Some of this will resonate. Not all of it. These are quite lengthy secret confessions oracle cards. Let's take a look. Secret confession for Libra, please. Secret confession for the air sign of Libra. Okay. I'm so used to spending time doing things I want to do spontaneously that I fail to make plans a priority. Sometimes you can count on me, but sometimes you can't. It isn't your fault. I'm just unreliable. It's not intentional. I know it's wrong to leave you hanging. Okay, so there's an energy here of trusting that this person will do what they say they're going to do. I think that you're quite cautious about that. They may have let you down in the past here. Libra, the Ace of Coins. You just want them to be direct, open and honest with you to keep the lines of communication open. Uh, the World card, this person may be at a distance. They may be planning a trip to come and see you or you're planning a trip to see them. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person is a very spontaneous type, uh, quite fiery. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, they do they do things very spontaneously in the moment. I feel that this person's used to living in the moment. Six of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah. Um, it's, it's somebody who's at a distance from you, Libra. Uh, they may live in another city, state, or country. Uh, there is distance, separation, and you want to close the gap. The Ten of Coins in reverse. I feel that this is a family member, guys. It could even be a spouse or an ex-spouse uh, that lives at a distance. And for others of you, it's like a, a child or even a, a parent who lives at a distance um, and it's it's kind of like a broken family uh, meaning that the 
that you're quite separated, like you don't all live in the same place. We've got the Four of Cups. Yeah, at the moment I'm getting an energy around this person of um, wherever they are, I, I do get a little bit of depression around this person, uh, nothing major. It just feels like they're quite unhappy uh, where, they're, where they're at, things are not really working out. Okay. And with the Seven of Wands here. Uh, but this person keeps trying to, to they, they are someone who does keep trying, um, they're a fighter, uh, they, they, I feel that when they start challenging themselves, when they get this, this passion going, this enthusiasm, uh, that's when they tend to put distance between the two of you. Um, you may see this person a lot when they're down, when they're down and out. But then when they get their life going again, they're off. Uh, it's that kind of energy. Queen of Coins in reverse, I feel that that's you, Libra. And the Knight of Cups in the reverse as well. Yeah, I just get an energy of you needing to, to look after yourself, uh, to make sure that your needs are met. I, I get that anyway. I feel that you're you're a very independent person. Uh, you're a hard worker. Uh, you're someone who doesn't need a, a lot of. Uh, you don't need a lot of help. So there's an energy around this of um, being resistant to to help. Mm. Being resistant to help. Okay. Um, all right. And the outcome here is the Hierophant in reverse. Interesting energy, guys. Libra, the main thing that I'm picking up here is just that the two of you are very independent sorts. And I just get an energy if you don't really trust that this person, but I, again, I don't think you trust it in most people when it comes to what they to do what they say they're going to do because I get I get that you're used to doing things for yourself because people disappoint you. Uh, I'm wondering if this person doesn't disappoint you a lot, Libra. It might be that. So you don't put a lot of stock, you don't put a lot of faith in uh, in what they say until until they actually do it. Okay, you, you want you, you, the words are fine, but you need the action to back it up, right? So, Libra, let's move on here to Scorpio. Scorpio, secret confessions for my Scorpio, please. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the time period of now. This can be reversed energy, so keep that in mind, Scorpio. It's an energy of someone that's around you physically or energetically. Could be a lover, potential lover, secret admirer, friend or family member. So Scorpio, let's see. Secret confession for my Scorpios, for the water sign of Scorpio. Secret confession for Scorpio, please. Secret confession for Scorpio. Okay. Let's see what we have here, guys. Take what resonates from the oracle card and leave the rest. Use your intuition. Secret confession for my Scorpios, please. Secret confession for the mortar sign of Scorpio. Secret confession for Scorpio. I don't feel like that was it. Got my eyes closed here, guys. Okay. I am trustworthy. You can let me in and let me love you. I feel like you're very guarded and you keep me at arm's length. You play hard to get and make me chase you. I don't think that's fair. I like to keep life simple with no games. Be honest with me. You can tell me anything. Okay, Scorpio. This person wants you to open up and trust them. They're knocking at your door. Are you going to let them in? You know, this is something that was destined. I feel like this connection between the two of you is a destined connection, but... Uh, I do get it, it has been you that has um, not wanted to go down this road with this person. 
Three of Swords in reverse. Because of past heartbreak, you know, not to, there's an energy around this of feeling like your heart would be broken if you got involved with this person. So you obviously feel a certain way about them, but you also feel that they could hurt you. The tower in reverse, so you've avoided this. You've avoided um, this person, you've avoided uh, connecting with them. But you see them as the sun, you see them as uh, someone who you're very, very attracted to. Someone that you could have a lot of fun with, um, someone that is uh, having fun in their life. Uh, you're very attracted to this person, but uh, you are uh, ignoring them, uh, you've turned your back on them. And with the Ten of Swords, they are very aware uh, that, that you have uh, done that. And, and uh, it's, it's almost like you've hurt them before they hurt you. Um, this person does feel, does feel hurt. Um, they do, guys, uh, whether or not you're aware of that. Uh, they kind of feel like they're being attacked from all fronts here. Um, they don't seem to be having a good time of it. I, they, they, it seems on the surface that they are, but I feel that this person gets a lot of uh, knives thrown at them, metaphorically, of course. So it could be jealousy, it could be envy. Whatever it is, I feel like this person attracts uh, some negative energy towards them just because of uh, them being in this, this energy of the sun. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not fair. I'm getting that energy if it's not fair. Yeah, justice in reverse. It's not fair. It's, this is not fair. I mean, this person hasn't done anything to warrant this either, guys. Um, they haven't. Oh, this person's done absolutely nothing to, to warrant this. But I feel that this person attracts a lot of negative energy. Why? Because there's a fear of being hurt by this person. Mm, okay. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Well, the challenge is this person will just give up. You know, if, if, they're, if they're being poked and prodded and challenged and, and attacked, um, what would you do? Um, I feel that this person, rather than fight, will just walk away at this point. Uh, walk towards the sun, walk towards their happiness. Uh, yeah, the page of coins and the magician. Well, it's up to you guys, you know, uh, Scorpio, it's up to you. Um, I feel that you could turn this around and let this person in, but uh, you, you know, all it would take is just a small gesture of friendship. That's all I'm really getting, an, an offer of some kind, a small gesture, something minor, an offer of friendship. You know, you don't have to let them in and, and immediately be lovers with them and go down that road. You can start small and have things grow. Uh, there's an energy here of um, planting the seed and growing it from a friendship. So starting with a friendship first, Scorpio. But with the five of coins here, there's an energy of um, shutting this person out, shutting the door on them. Scorpio, uh, why why are you doing that? I mean, it could be reversed, guys. It can be the other way around. I'm going to have to call you out. Uh, this is something that could be really good for you. I feel like you could have a lot of fun with this person, a lot of passion. And the way that this person's being treated here, like a uh, like a leper or like uh, like they are um, unwanted, is completely unfair, guys. Completely unfair. I'm moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let's take a look at you guys. Sagittarius, secret confession for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Reminded to check out all your sign placements for messages that may be there for you. This could be someone that's around you physically or energetically. Could be a lover, potential lover, secret admirer, friend, family member, you get the picture. Colleague, let's see, Sagittarius. Secret confession for Sagittarius, please. Secret confession for Sagittarius. 
for my Sagittarius. This can be reversed energy, of course, if you're cross-watching. Sagittarius, secret confession. All right. Take what resonates from the oracle cards and leave the rest. Use your intuition to guide you. Secret confession for the fire sign of Sagittarius. Secret confessions for Sagittarius, please. Secret confession for Sagittarius. You, oh, okay. Your emotional sensitivity is beautiful, but sometimes I just don't know how to comfort you when you need my support and caring words. I want you to be happy and healthy. I want you to know you can rely on me. I don't always have the words, but I do care. Okay. Now, I think it was Virgo uh, that got this one. I'm going to get another one for you as well because this is a repeat. But some of you could be dealing with a Virgo who has some trouble opening up, being emotionally vulnerable. It can be vice versa, of course. And I feel like I've gone through so much that I don't know where to start with telling you about my life. And they don't know if they want to open up. Okay, so this is someone who withdraws. Um, they don't want to open up too much about their life. Uh, I feel like this person is feeling bad about their life. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So this is energy here if it never seems to be the right time to open up and reveal uh, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. But they do see you, Sagittarius, as the sun. They see you as someone who um, brings this person joy, happiness. They see you le le leading what they perceive to be a happy and healthy life. And they want to be there with, with you or they want to join you on that journey of yours. Yeah, the King of Cups. I feel that this person is, is, a, is a relationship type. I feel like this person uh, does have a lot of care for you, a lot of uh, empathy, uh, quite sympathetic. And I feel that um, there's an energy around this person of them. They do want to reveal things to you, but uh, they, they're scared of what you will think of them. Okay. This person may have been married in the past. They may have had children. Um, they may have uh, been divorced. The Knight of Cups, yeah, this person sees you as um, like the person that they should have been with all along here, Sagittarius. Uh, I feel like this person just kind of wants to, has this secret desire just to be like, um, I get like uh, packing up all your belongings, um, putting it in storage and just going off and traveling and uh, and, and uh, being like vagabonds <laughs> it's it's a little bit like that it, it's 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 a very um it's like a uh it's, it's like something written about in song or written about in a book it's very romantic notion and the seven of wands but you see this person as someone who has um, denied you uh, put up a wall, is guarded emotionally. And the hanged man, yeah, this person. Uh, there's an energy of this person. The, it, it's, I feel like it's only a matter of time with that Wheel of Fortune before this person um, does come out and, and reveal what needs to be revealed here. And the Seven of Swords, yeah, this person's avoided this, uh, they've done a runner, uh, they've run away from this connection. We've got the Ace of Cups here, and the Magician, but uh, the thing is, this is, this is love. There's love here being manifested, and that scares the you-know-what out of this person, Sag, it does, they, that's why they've run. And the outcome here is the Nine of Wands in reverse. But I do feel that the guard will be dropped. The guard will be dropped here. Uh, there will be a decision made to open up. I feel it's going to be in like song or in some kind of artistic way, which is going to be um, quite lovely. Uh, quite lovely. And I feel that it's going to be quite a grand gesture as well. A grand, I get a grand romantic gesture. Sagittarius coming your way. 
interesting guys I get that this is like a soulmate uh, this this is someone who um, yeah it, it feels like a soulmate and I get this very strong energy of art, artists um, artistic energy between the two of you like muse and and songwriter not necessarily that but you guys know what I'm saying the challenge is that the, this person is, is someone who does tend to be here and gone so it, it may not be like a forever kind of thing it, it may be something that's very romantic and very nice and very exciting and passionate and and loving but I do get a, a strange energy around this person of um, um, someone who tends to to run uh, run from responsibility so I, I feel like this is this is more of an energy of someone who would be a whole lot of fun to be around fun to be with but not necessarily a stable person okay that being said let's move on to Capricorn Capricorn let's take a look secret confession for my Capricorns for Capricorn secret confession for earth sign Capricorn Sun Moon rising Venus sign for the time period of now when you're called to view this video someone that's around you physically or energetically this could be a lover a potential lover secret admirer friend or family member Capricorn be sure to check out all your placements here for messages that may be resonant so let's take a look here Capricorn secret confession for Capricorns this can be someone that's um, they can be reversed guys so just remember that if you're cross watching Capricorn secret confession for Capricorn all right take what resonates and leave the rest from the Oracle cards use your intuition to guide you Capricorn secret confession for Capricorn for the earth sign of Capricorn secret confession for Capricorn Oh, this one's a bit rough. I don't know how to tell you that I'm not in love. I wish we could go back in time to prevent our connection from getting to this point. I don't want to lose how you make me feel, but they don't want a romantic connection. Let's get a little bit more information there, since that's quite a, uh, a harsh message. Won't be for all of you, of course, so use your discretion. I wish I could tell you this, but I don't know how. They're not very good at confrontation. Mm. Okay, so yeah, all right. Oof, that's a bit rough, Capricorn. Let, let's take a look and see what's going on with this person. The fool in reverse. So they did something here that they wish they hadn't done. Uh, they made a mistake. Ten of Cups in the reverse. This is someone who isn't looking for a relationship, isn't looking for a commitment. I feel that this person is either newly divorced or has suffered some kind of family uh, difficulty or trauma. Uh, they got involved quickly with, with Capricorn here. The star could be a could be dealing with an Aquarius but doesn't have to be I mainly get the energy around this person of someone who does want the best for you uh, they do they do see you as someone who is uh, worthy of love who is highly valuable the two of coins but this this person unfortunately I, I get an energy of, of them not being ready for a relationship not not wanting any kind of commitment there's an energy around them of just playing the field i feel that they ha do have another interest the knight of coins in reverse you see this is something that's stuck uh, that isn't moving forward uh, it's because this person is is keeping you around because they like how you make them feel because you are a very attractive person capricorn 
So they like that. They like how you make them feel, but they they're not they're not wanting this to progress. They're not doing any action to progress this to the next level. Yeah, the ten of coins. I feel that uh, my Capricorns here are looking for commitment, looking for a relationship, looking for something that's going to be um, marriage material, something that's going to pay off in the long run. Not this kind of situation here which feels a bit more like friends with benefits guys uh, at least from this person's perspective for you I feel it was more than that you wanted more uh, Queen of Swords I feel that that's you Capricorn um, you are someone who is uh, uh, very accomplished at what you do a very uh, very intellectual uh, person, someone who has a lot of, uh, I get people regarding you very highly in your work, in your workplace, some of you may uh, be a scientist or work in the health field, There's a, or a, a nurse practitioner, there's something there that I'm picking up here where you're highly knowledgeable, highly skilled at what you do and um, there's an energy around you of being very high worth, high value. And that's why this person keeps you around because um, you are someone who gives them a, a huge ego boost because you are who you are. That being said, I feel like this person isn't on your level, guys. Um, Knight of Swords in reverse and Justice in reverse. Oh, guys, yeah. Whew. Yeah, this, this, this person is, is not on your level. I, I, I have to be honest, I, I don't feel that this person is a nice person. Uh, there's an energy around them of... Um, oh, Someone who you regard, and you don't regard them very well. Uh, I didn't start off that way, but, but I just get an energy around you, Capricorn, of, of looking at this person like... Oh, what are they doing now? Oh. Now th this person backs out of things. Uh, they they fail to make plans. Um, they're trying to get their life together, but it doesn't seem to really be working, does it? They're always screwing up. Uh, look, you're you're way above this person, Capricorn, when it comes to your your life and where it's at. Um, you're well on the way to success. Uh, well, probably already there, most of you. Um, this person, gosh, page of coins. It, it's, a, it's a small energy compared to you. I mean, you're a queen of swords, they're a page of coins. Yeah, I think you have to see this for what it is uh, as, as someone who might be very attractive, might be a lot of fun in the in the short term, but isn't for the long term, guys. They're, they're not for the long term. And to be honest with you, I don't think you're in love with this person either. Um, there's a there's an energy here of the two of you agreeing at some point just to, just to keep it on a friends level. You now let's, let's just keep it friends. It may have been someone that you had a very brief encounter with. But it, 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 you knew it wasn't going to go anywhere. You knew it wasn't going to go, go far. Uh, it was just kind of stepping stones, someone on the way to your ten of coins. And then I just feel like the two of you are going to remain friends here, uh, Capricorn. So let, let's move on to Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, let's take a look. Secret confessions for my Aquarians. Secret confession for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For the time period of now when you're called to view this video. Aquarius, this could be someone that's around you physically or energetically. A lover, potential lover, secret admirer, friend or family member. This can be reversed energy, so always keep that in mind. It is a general reading, so feel free to check out your other sign placements, Aquarius, for messages that may be resonant with you. Aquarius, let's see. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Secret confession before my Aquarius. Let's take a look here, guys. 
Take what resonates from the oracle cards, leave the rest, use your intuition to guide you. Aquarius, secret confession for Aquarius, please. Secret confession for Aquarius. Secret confession. I'm doing the best I can to juggle everything I have going on in my life and I know you feel neglected. It's not intentional. I feel tired and worn out. I need more support and release from all of my worries. I have too much on my shoulders. Okay. Aquarius, let's see what's going on with this person. King of Cups, it could be a, um, a spouse, someone who's working so, so hard that they may be um, neglecting their home and family life. Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person is tired as heck. They're exhausted, actually. But with the Ace of Cups, they love you. They're, they're not going anywhere. They're, they're in love. They just uh, can't put the energy in at the moment. I get this person coming home from work and just, you know, no, no sex, no, nothing like that. They just want to go to bed. <laughs> they may fall asleep watching the TV. Knight of Coins in reverse. Yeah, they, this person isn't uh, making an effort at the moment because they can't. I just feel energetically. Um, they're not putting the energy in. It's like uh, their, their motor has stalled. Two of coins. Now you see this person, you see this person Aquarius as, 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 as your other half, the yin to your yang. Uh, you want them to perhaps do a little bit more in the home. Uh, when they get home from work, uh, I feel that you're juggling everything, trying to keep everything together. You may have children, uh, young children that you have to care for, and you're also working your, your job as well from home, or you may go out to work as well. And so you're juggling everything, <coughs> and you're thinking to yourself, well, I'm, if I can manage this, why can't this person? Well, this person isn't as strong as you, Aquarius. The star. They are rising, their star is rising in the workplace and they feel like they need to put in a lot of effort. They may be going for a promotion or be up for a promotion. Yeah, five of wands in reverse. It's very competitive uh, work environment uh, that this person is uh, dealing with. And I feel that they, they want to be seen. They want to be seen as someone who is um, going to be promoted. Um, like I, I get uh, a lot more money, a lot more prestige. This person is going for King of Wands in the reverse and the Ten of Coins. Yeah, this seems to be a, a situation where you're either married to this person or in a long-term commitment or they're, um, they're, they're going towards that. Um, this person is working towards maintaining uh, a strong foundation for the future. You know, I get, uh, I get family, family unit. I get uh, retirement. I get um, till death do us part. Uh, working towards having a solid foundation for the future. Uh, when when it comes to your money, something to pass on to children, they're working really, really hard at that. But unfortunately, what they need to learn is a little bit more, a um, little bit more balance in their life. Uh, have a little bit more fun. Go out on occasion. Um, do things with the family. Yeah, live a little. Knight of Wands. I feel that they will. Uh, eventually, they'll, they'll get there. They'll. they'll uh, well, I feel that they can't help it. You know, it, it. It feels a little bit like, oh, I've been working so hard. I need a break. And this person one day just decides to, you know, to heck with it. I'm going to take a break and I'm going to take a week off and I'm just going to have fun and and, uh, and enjoy myself. So, yeah, I see, I see this person trying to bring more work-life balance in, which is something that you, you want from this person. And it's going to happen sooner rather than later. I'm getting that energy. So let's move on here to Pisces. Pisces, lucky last here, secret confession for my Pisces. Sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. This can be reversed energy, so keep that in mind, Pisces, for cross-watching. This is an energy of someone that's around you physically or energetically. It could be a lover, potential lover, secret admirer, friend or family member. 
it is for the time period of now when you're called to view this video so Pisces let's see feel free to check out your other sign placements if this one doesn't resonate with you let's see Pisces secret confession for the water sign of Pisces secret confession for Pisces please Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs okay Pisces let's check this out please don't forget to press that thumbs up button guys all right Pisces let's see what is the secret confession for the water sign of Pisces Pisces secret confession whoa okay I'm absolutely over the moon for you but I don't like your friends and sometimes I make excuses not to spend time with them because I don't want to deal with them as a group. I'm trying to figure out if this connection can last and if this is worth it to me because of them. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Use your intuition. Intuitively, I'm picking up that it isn't just about friends. It is about family. They may not like your family or your family doesn't like them, something like that, or your friends don't like this person. The magician. You know, this person is trying really hard with you, Pisces. The Hierophant in reverse. Uh, the two of you are from different backgrounds, different religions, different tribes. Uh, there's an energy around uh, your family and their family or your friends and their friends. They don't seem to get along. They don't like each other. Five of Wands in reverse, you know, can't we all just get along? There's an energy here of a, a group of people around you who don't like each other, don't like the fact that you're together, want you to be with other people. And we've got the Eight of Wands in the reverse. <coughs> okay. Pisces, yeah. Okay. I'm getting an energy around this of, um, oh, okay, I'm getting this contention. I feel that this, okay, I'm getting this. This used to be a connection. The two of you used to be connected romantically, but now you've broken up. And that's why there's these two tribes at war energy that I'm getting, <coughs> Pisces. Now this person is trying to manifest something from this connection. It could be the sale of a house. It could be um, some kind of a sale of something. Uh, it could be some negotiation. And it seems like it's the communication has broken down. Um, there's this, this war energy going to war. Uh, you, you are very different people. You have very different ways of handling things. Okay. But Pisces, the thing is, you saw this person as, as someone that needs to come to you and, and, and make you... I get a, an apology. Okay. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I get you very being very firm in your standing, not backing down. This person's coming to you with a gentle energy, trying to, to get something something to happen. I get the sale of something. Now that one would be for all of you, but they're trying the gentle approach. Um, a compassionate approach but you're you're being very I, I get to standing in standing your ground uh, not backing down and when it comes to the challenge here you've got two of swords Pisces yeah I get you saying no saying no to this person they uh, they're they're being very gentle uh, very kind um, wanting you wanting something from you wanting you to do something for them and you are saying, oh no, 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 no. And there's an energy of you not putting up with um, ultimatums. That there's an energy here of you uh, being very firm in your convictions. Uh, Seven of Swords and the High Priestess. Um, Pisces, I just have to say that, that you... 
I'm just going to have to say it. Uh, this can be the other way around. Uh, feel free to flip out the energies, but it, it feels like you're doing this with a, an ulterior motive. Uh, you, that there's a secret, uh, secrets here. I feel that the two of you actually have secrets that you're not sharing. So you're in some kind of negotiation. Uh, this person is coming to you with a non-traditional approach. Uh, very, um, yeah, I get trying to get beneath your skin, trying to work on your work on you, uh, to trying to, yeah, and, and you are saying, oh, hell no, really. Um, but I get the two of you here have something to hide. Uh, there's secrets, there's ulterior motives, but on both sides, guys, on both sides. And with the six of coins, it seems like you're going to, uh, with when it comes to this negotiation, you're going to both get out of it what you what you got in. Uh, I don't know if this is some kind of investment that you made with this person, but it seems like you're going to get uh, what you need out of this, and they're going to get what they need out of this as well. Yeah, it's it's a negotiation. It could be uh, to do with a separation. It could to do could be separating a partnership. It could be about uh, an exchange of money. Uh, but I do get a, a push kind of energy, like you you both getting out of it um, what you what you need here, um, Pisces. I don't see a big win. I don't see a big check or anything like that being handed over. I just get being being given what what you got out of it um, one of you seems to be getting away with it probably a little bit more than the other and that's why there is this uh, why there is this energy of challenge around this but that being said i, I feel that uh, you're, you're nobody's fool here pisces and, and you're not going to be played for a fool and um, you're certainly not uh, backing away from negotiating what you want out of this, but I, I get the two of you here. I do get it as, as, a, as a, a feminine energy or somebody with some secrets here um, that's actually going to get out of us a little bit more than the other, but um, on the surface of it, it, it's going to appear like an equal exchange, but I do get something there beneath the surface. Um, but I get it as the feminine here that's going to make out a little bit better uh, than, the, than the other person there. Okay, so Pisces, I'm going to leave it there and wish you guys all the best. Please do contact me for a personal reading. If you'd like, my email address is gypsyinsights at gmail.com. It's in the box below. You can also visit my Etsy store, Gypsy Insights Tarot. Purchase directly there a reading. Love to hear from you guys. Drop me a comment down below if you're enjoying these secret confessions readings. Share me on your social media. Help me get the word out. Please do press that thumbs up button before you leave. And if you're a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe. Please do consider hitting that notification bell. Thanks guys, please take care and bye for now.